The difference between a food allergy and a food sensitivity is that a food allergy, when you ingest a particular food, the immune system gets activated and reacts to that particular nutrient in that food. A great example of a food allergy is a peanut allergy. When one ingests peanuts, the immune system will recognize the peanuts as a foreign matter and will react to that protein in those peanuts. It could be respiratory symptoms where one may have trouble breathing, they could be wheezing, one can develop hives. A food sensitivity is an adverse reaction to a particular food. However, your immune system is likely not reacting to it, but however, it may manifest into other symptoms like gas or bloating or diarrhea. The difference between the two is that with the food allergy, we must avoid that allergen altogether. Where a food sensitivity or food intolerance, we need to identify a threshold of tolerance. One of the most common food sensitivities or food intolerance out there is lactose intolerance. Lactase is an intestinal enzyme produced by our small intestine. And over time, as we grow older, we may experience a gradual decline. It could be related to surgery on our small intestine that can reduce our ability to produce lactose or any disorders that can impact the lining of the small intestine, such as celiac disease. When one is lactose intolerant, one may automatically think that you need to cut out all the dairy from your diet, which is not true. The amount of lactose can vary from one dairy food to another. To give you an example, there's 11 grams of lactose in a cup of low-fat cow's milk, where a slice of cheddar cheese, which is considered a hard cheese, is 0.02 grams of lactose. So the dose of lactose coming in at each meal makes the difference on how well you're going to be able to tolerate that food with dairy. So tips there to address lactose intolerance is keep dairy to small amounts. The most common way to assess for a food sensitivity is to eliminate those foods from the diet, see if you feel better, and then add it back in your diet to see if your symptoms reoccur. And if your symptoms do reoccur, then let's determine the right amounts that you can't eat of that particular food. Thank you.